things you need to know before you start a YouTube channel. We're going to talk about that, but first, thank you for coming back to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up. Please leave your comments and your questions, and please subscribe. Okay. Things you need to know before you start a YouTube channel. This is stuff that I wish I had known. Nobody told me, so how would I know? But I'm here to tell you these things, and nothing is going to prevent you from making a YouTube channel, but these things are good to know, just to keep in the back of your noggin. Okay. This video will not be as long as normal, but it's stuff that needs to be addressed. All right, once you start a YouTube channel, once you start picking up steam, you're gonna start getting haters. They're gonna to come to your videos and they're gonna say all kinds of nasty stuff. You have to have thick skin or else this will drive you crazy. There's so many people that quit YouTube on kind of this. Don't let these people dictate your future. This could be a six figure or more income for you every year once you get rolling. And if you let them rain on your parade and make you quit, you're shooting yourself in the foot. People are nasty because they're jealous. These people that leave all these hate comments, if you click on their channel, you will see they have no videos at all. They have no subscribers. So there are they are there to hate on your video because they feel so bad about themselves. The thing is, they don't hate you. They don't hate what you're doing. They hate themselves and they hate the fact that they're too lazy to try. Another thing that you need to know is whatever niche you get into, everybody is not going to like that niche. Some people are going to, right off the bat, tell you how wrong you are. And political videos, oh, don't get me started on political videos. Well, that's what I make in the daytime. And it don't matter what you say. You can say anything in the world. Half the people already hates it. Uh, because there's two sides, there's the Democrats and the Republicans, and half the people already hates what you're saying. So you're fighting an uphill battle when you do political. So if you don't have thick skin, think again before you do get into political stuff. The best videos to make for the dollar that you make on YouTube would be real estate or how to invest money. These are the two biggest profitable niches to get into. So if you know anything at all about these, get into these. If you don't know anything, just go find the videos in that niche that are making the views, that are getting big numbers. Uh, be sure and look at the date because if you've got a video, if you find a video that you want to remake, make it your own video. And let's say, for instance, it's got 50,000 views on it. Well, if that video was made two months ago, that's a good video to remake. But now, on the other hand, if that video was made two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, maybe it's not so good because it took so long to make that. But now, if you're planning on a long-term career on YouTube, maybe those videos would be good for you because every day you're making a video. Uh, every week you're making two or three videos. Those videos compile, and you will always be getting views from those videos. So those views will add up on those videos also. Uh, don't ever and I'm guilty of this when people leave you bad comments don't engage with them that's what they want they want you to engage so do not do that 
this is something that should make you feel good about haters. Haters help you. I know it's hard to believe, but YouTube wants views. Well, when a hater comes to your channel, they're giving you a view. YouTube wants engagements. Well, when they comment, complain to you, they're giving you engagement. And then when you, when you say something back to them, say it in a question form. That way they've got to come back and reply to your question. Well, they're giving you more engagement and they're giving you another view. So haters do help you, whether you believe it or not, they do help you. Views and engagements to YouTube is just that, engagement and a view. They don't care if it's good or bad, as long as it's engagement. So yeah, every time a hater comes to your channel, he's signing your paycheck, basically. Y'all, I'm telling you the honest truth here. YouTube is probably the best business today to get into. We do have these little drawbacks. And any time that you feel like you want to quit, take a day off. Don't quit. Regroup. Let people say what they want to say in your comments. Don't worry about it. Just let it roll off your shoulder and keep going. Those people are not doing nothing for themselves. You are. So don't worry about what they say. You, when you watch your videos, you will not like your sound, the sound of your voice. You will not like how you look on camera. Most people don't. Because your voice is not what you're used to hearing. You're used to hearing your voice through your own ears, not through a microphone or a speaker. So, when you're not happy with the way you look, the way you sound, just know that other people don't pay that any attention. They don't even recognize that as being an issue. Because everyone is different. Everyone has a different voice. Like my daughter, she's helped me on my other channel. She's made a few videos for me. And uh, she don't want to ever hear it replayed. I have to replay it to check it out. She don't want to hear it because she don't like the sound of her own voice. I think she sounds great. But that's just how people perceive their own voice. Y'all, YouTube is awesome. But there is some good, some bad, some ugly on there. To me, when people, when I'm talking to someone and they say a certain word, it hits me. And I'm thinking about YouTube. I can't go through a conversation with someone without thinking of YouTube probably five times in that comp in that conversation because so many things can make a video here. You say you don't know what to make a video about. You can make a video about anything. But now if you want a certain niche, you need to stay with that niche. If you want a variety channel, that's good too. People goes for that. With a variety channel, it kind of confuses the YouTube algorithm. They don't know who to put your videos out. But if you've already got this big following on YouTube because of your niche that you've been in and you want to change make a variety channel, a lot of those people is going to watch your videos. And for the ones that don't, new ones are going to be popping in to see that video. Because used to, the channel on YouTube was what dictated the growth. It's not so much that now, it's per video. So if you've got a good video, it's gonna do good. If you've got a bad video, it's gonna do bad. Well, the next one's gonna be a good video, it's gonna do good again. So you don't really worry about that. Y'all, I hope this has helped someone. Just know there's good, bad, and the ugly, and you really do need thick skin. 
And if you don't have thick skin, go ahead and make your videos. Just stay out of your comments. Don't turn your comments off. That will turn the people off because they want a place to make their voice be heard. So let them voice their opinions about everything in the comments. And if it really bothers you, stay out of the comments. Y'all, I love you all. I wish you all the best luck in the world with your YouTube channel. Please don't sleep on YouTube. You owe it to yourself to create this business because YouTube is a business and you stand to make very good money at it. I know people that's in my niche right now that makes $2,000 a day. I don't make that kind of money. Now, when I'm going to be honest with you. When it first started and it was just me and two other people making these videos, I made that kind of money. I'm far from that now because it's so many people and so many people has grown weary of political and stimulus videos. But when I first started, I was making bank. Now it all depends on the niche that you get into. You can make bank also. I have faith in you. Please don't sleep on it. Please start your YouTube channel. Set a schedule. If you want a video, once a week, that's fine. It's going to take you a long time to get monetized. I would suggest a, a video every day. Five days a week, seven days a week, whatever you want to do. But the more videos, the better off you're going to be. Y'all, I love you all. Please sound off in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button. And please keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through everything that we're facing today. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for those elected employees in Washington that is not doing their job. Say a prayer for everyone around the world hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. Just know I love you all until tomorrow. Ciao.